who are my viewers, welcome back. And to those of you that are new, we're going to be talking about cuckold relationships. And if you have not seen my other videos on this, please take a moment to do so. So I've done many videos on this topic because I have many people that are interested who write in, who email me, who leave comments, um, who I counsel. And there usually is a running theme to the questions. And I want to address that because I feel that it's something that I have not stated strongly enough. And that is, for a cuck whole relationship to work, it really has to be driven by the woman. Now, I'm gonna to touch upon this in a more direct way because I still think a lot of people are very confused about this. So let's just talk about what a cuckold relationship is really quick, and that would be a husband who wants his wife to get sexual gratification from another man. Usually the other man is uh, more well endowed than he is, and in some instances he wants to be humiliated uh, as well as he wants to make sure that she gets pleasure from this and he is involved in her pleasure, whether he's there in the room or she is telling him afterwards. He wants to hear that uh, she was indeed pleased by this other man because it makes him feel like uh, he has some, I don't want to say power, but um, he feels that he has contributed to his wife's pleasure sexually and therefore she will be satisfied and she will not leave him. The problem with this scenario is this goes against biology. This goes against how women really function in monogamous relationships. And I'm not going to say all women because, you know, we are all different and human beings um, are individuals, but the collective, the, I'd like to say, norm, um, women, they don't want to be sleeping with somebody else in when they're married, when they're in a monogamous marriage, and this is how they uh, intended the marriage to be. So they didn't get into the marriage thinking it was an open marriage, there wasn't a discussion of that, they got into the marriage uh, knowing that it was just gonna be between the two of them, and then the husband decides, or he shares with her that he is into cuckolding, uh, he has cuckold fantasies, and he wants her to participate in it. And this is really his desire, his fetish, that he is putting onto her. And what I will tell you is that it has to come from her. It has to be her wanting to sleep with another guy, her wanting to initiate it, her wanting it to be part of her lifestyle or part of her fantasy. And in order for most women to get to that point, it usually means that they have either fallen out of love with their husband, or they no longer desire their husband, or that there is some arrangement where maybe he is not functioning sexually and she still wants to be in the marriage, but she's finding pleasure outside the marriage. But it really is a very small percent where the woman is still very much in love with her husband. She still wants to have this uh, relationship with him. She still desires him. Their sex life is still good, but yet she's wanting to sleep with other men um, in front of him or going out and telling him about it. And in fact, if a woman is cheating on her husband, she most certainly isn't going to want to tell him about it or have him watch. So that really wouldn't be part of a woman's fantasy. And so this whole idea that somehow the woman is interested in this, that she really um, has gotten into his fantasy, is pretty much a fallacy. So. Yes, I have seen this happen where, um, again, there's uh, special circumstances and maybe later in life um, after they've raised the family and maybe they have um, you know, decided that they wanna have a different type of a lifestyle, 
um, but it would have to be her initiating it and it would not be him bothering her, asking her, um, or pushing her to do something because that will backfire on him. And so there's also the idea of when a husband has this sexual fetish, this sexual fantasy, he really needs to figure out why he's having it. What about it is turning him on? Um, and he needs to explain this to his wife if he wants her to role play with him or try to, to be part of the fantasy or if he wants to try to stop having these thoughts or trying to stop you know thinking about this he really needs to first figure out why is he thinking about it to begin with you know what is it that uh, is turning him on about it what is it about himself where he feels like he wants another man to please his wife um, instead of him that he wants someone else to touch her to be involved with her because a natural instinct would be that if another guy comes up to your wife and tries to touch her or fondle her that you're gonna you know beat the crap out of him that's usually the the male response to something like that um, or if a wife decides that you know hey I want to sleep with some guy you know or I want to bring him home that the husband's gonna turn around and say are you crazy like why would you think that that would be okay with me those are really like from a biological perspective um, that's typically part of how we function as humans, especially function in a relationship. So it gets really complicated and really muddled when uh, you are the man and you have this fantasy and you're kind of putting it on your wife. And I've even had some men say, well, you know, I have brought it up while we're having sex and she really seemed to be turned on by it and that's why I continued to push her to do it. But the idea that she may have been turned on by it at that moment doesn't really mean that she wants to take that fantasy and turn it into a reality or that she really understands why you the man would be asking her to do that in the first place so it's really important that I bring it around from this perspective because there's many times that this really can um, destroy a marriage it can really uh, ruin something good and hopefully by watching this video, if this is you who's struggling with this, you can get some help. Um, it really is important that you figure out why you have these feelings and um, you know, even maybe get some counseling with your wife so the two of you can talk this out and heal the marriage if this is something that you've pushed upon the marriage and now the two of you are in trouble. Or if you're thinking about doing it, um, definitely get some help before you just spring it on your wife because that usually doesn't work either. So hopefully I've answered some of your questions and um, please leave a comment. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As you know, I believe everyone deserves to have a healthy sex life and so do you.